Hey guys, Half Lane Lover here. I'm starting my own equestrian tag. So this is just mainly questions that I answer, and you could do it too by copy and pasting these questions into your video and answering them and telling your, and tagging some subscribers that follow you to do it. Then tell your subscribers to tell their subscribers to do it. It's really fun. I, I think you guys would like it. Okay. First one. What is your favorite riding apparel? Carrots, maybe. I think their breeches breech and tights are really cute. Or poss possibly Dublin because their field boots and crap are really cute. Matchy matchy or not matched at all. I am definitely a matchy matchy person. If I'm riding Western, I have a striped blue saddle pad, or even if I'm riding English, I have a blue saddle pad. I usually want to match it with splint boots, black splint boots, or even possibly blue. I would really like to have um, tan breech breeches on, or even black or white, and black or blue half chaps. Yeah. I'm matchy all the way. Walk, trot, canter. <coughs> I'm definitely a trot person or canter. I like the trot because of the posting. I love posting. Canter, I love the beat. I like going fast. Jump or hunt seat? Um, I'm prob I like both, but I would pick jumper if I had a pick. If I had, definitely had to pick one, I would pick Jumper, but I like to both. Competitive or just for fun? Hmm. I, I do both, but I'm definitely a competitive person. Favorite month for riding? For summer, I'd pick July, because it's summer and you could be at the barn all you want. Or December. I like running nice and cool air. Yeah. What are, what are the things you put on your horse's legs when riding? Well, obvious, but for some people that don't know, it's splint boots. Or galloping boots, also known as jumping boots or tee boots. They call them something else in the UK or something like that, but here in the US, splint boots, galloping boots, or jumping boots. What are the things you put over your padded boots? We call them half chaps. But in the UK, I think they call them gaiters. Something like that. Not sure. What is the middle of the hoof called you're, you aren't supposed to hit with, with your hoof pick? That is called the frog. It is very sensitive. You never want to pick stuff out of it unless you really have to, like, this piece of rock or something. What is, your prop what is the proper way to dress when riding? Well, for me, the proper way to dress when riding is field boots or, yeah, field, field boots, dress boots, or paddock boots with half chaps. You could do just, you know, plain paddock boots. But the shoes, whatever, it could be any type of shoe except sneakers and sandals. They, they must have heels at least an inch and a half, or inch. Um, I also like breeches or joggers. Um, tights are okay. They just, to me, I don't like them. Um, with, for summer, a tank top or a short sleeve. It's way too high. In winter, long sleeve with the vest or a nice fitting sweatshirt. Um, what is the brush you get dirt and loose hair from? The curry comb? Pretty sure. What is the correct position for jumping? Well, that is the two point position. For lower jumps, you want to make sure it's, it's your hands are 
Well, two point position is when you arch your back over their neck. Not arching, but not straight back either. You want just perfect. And for like cross rails, you want a tighter grip on the rings, not not tighter grip, but closer to your chest. And for higher jumps, you want it to be extended. The hands be extended over there. Yeah. What is the average lifespan life expense lifespan up for a horse? Well, Usually a horse can live up to 25, maybe 30. Some horses have reached 40, but the average is 25 to 30. How can horses sleep when standing up? That is a very good question. Horses and ponies can stand sleep standing up because they have an unusual, how would you call it? appearance in their kneecap or patellia. A hook is situated like on the inside and the bottom end of the thigh bone. On its hind leg, hind leg it cups the patellia or the kneecap and the, the metal patellia ligament prevents the leg from from bending? That's a very good question. Okay, next question. What are the terms used to describe the gender of a horse or a pony? Well, a filly is a female horse or pony that is not fully grown yet. A colt, a male horse or pony that is not fully grown or gelded castrated. A mare is a fully grown female horse or pony. Stallion, a fully grown male horse or pony that has not has not been gelded. A gelding is a male horse that has been castrated. Snow babies at all. Should horses be kept apart from each other? Well, I definitely, definitely would not recommend them being apart, because horses are herd animals, so they are used to living as part of a group, and they feel secure in the company of one. Company of other equines, or even a familiar, and even familiar sound surroundings. Unless the horse has problems being around hor other horses, like kick kicking and biting and rearing at them, not playing, mean-wise, then I would definitely keep them away. But other than that, if they're, yeah, I would definitely recommend horses being next to another horse or pony or even a goat or some sort. Okay, next question, if there is one. What plants are harmful to horses? That is also a very good question. Without this. Acorns can be harmful to them because it gets stuck in their throat, even like cut. Um, black nightshade. I know I don't know what type that is, but it's a plant. Box. <coughs> you can all look this up on Google or something like that. If you don't know what it is, clover, broom, buckthorn, ground ivy, her Paris, horseradish. Horsetail, horse tail, iris, um, oak, thorn apple, yew, wood nightshade, stuff like that. Yeah, you can all look at that up on on Google and stuff to see what else. I know I didn't name all of them because it's a lot to remember. Trust me. Um. Well, yeah, hopefully I get another one soon. That was it. Hopefully I get another one soon. Comment and see and say ask questions and I would definitely get them 
to the next video. Think, subscribe, and like. I should get another one in about a week or two, if people comment enough. Yeah, thank you. Bye.